on our side. Okay, I see what happened. I don't need to be, okay. I'm so accustomed to going on. Say hello, Leo. Oh, we're on. Good day. How are you? Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, that pretty girl there. Eh? Oh, that pretty girl eh? What me no know? Joan. It's Joan. <laughs> a Joan that? Oh my God. <laughs> Good day. This is Leo Gilling on the Leo and Shernet show. It's about 728, but we're we pretty. are going live just to make sure that we have some people online, we are live right here on jamaicans.com. We do the show every Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. We're a little bit early this evening just for a particular reason. Um, on, and on Saturday morning from nine until sometime later on, right? 11 o'clock or so, right? <laughs> <laughs> because we have so much fun, we just don't um, seem to want to get off the show sometimes. But mm -hmm. uh, welcome everybody. Let me see if we can get some persons online and, 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 and call some names before the show actually starts uh, in about one minute, if I can get there. Let's see. Uh, so what's up, um, Shernet? Not a lot, Leo. It's yeah. starting very boring at the ranch, but uh, how, we wait. Yeah, are, you, are you quarantined like everybody else? Um, I Isolating, not quarantine, but isolating. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have you. We have a wonderful day today. You, yeah. you know, said so today, you know, so today uh, a Tom fool day, right? Um, I don't know Tom and I don't know any fools, so forget that. <laughs> but you know what? I'm you only, come from? No, the only Tom fool I'll, ex I'll expect today and accept hey. is to hear there's no such thing as COVID. It was. April Fool, Tom Fool, all of that. call you this morning and say, oh, COVID gone. And then, trick. That, oh, Lord, I wish. I think you'd probably get shot if you tried that. <laughs> you know, Tom Fool in a Jamaica is April mm -hmm. 1. In America, yeah. it's what? April Fools, right? Yeah. Yeah. And in England, what your name again? All, all Fools. All Fools Day. Hey. Yes, yes. That thing Wait, actually. Eh? Anyway, take it is full food. It's full food. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so it actually started. Well, it is said to have, have started back when they first introduced the Gregorian calendar. Uh -huh. In about 1852, where, um, uh, you know, April 1st was actually the start of the year. Mm -hmm. And when the Gregorian calendar came out, it started in January 1st. So uh -huh. every April 1st, people would try to Tom foolery other persons to say, oh, the year does a start. And it started all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, okay. so, I, I, get it. I, I, get it. I was expecting a more exciting story. Uh, do I have a bit so excited? Tom to it? How Tom come into it? I have no clue, but it, 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 it started up something and call it Tom foolery. Is and it it's, like an actual, it's an actual word. Tom, I remember there was a there's a saying in Jamaica as well, like Tom blind but Tom the fool or something. No, 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 Tom drunk but Tom. Tom, the fool. Tom drunk but Tom the fool. <laughs> Even Campbell Collins, good evening. She says blessings to you, and then Sharon Green is watching. Ale Wilson, good evening. All good. Uh, here again, he says. Yeah. Uh, Xavier Murphy, good evening to you, Iona. Russell watching from Boston. We have a lot of people watching already, but we have a great lineup this evening. Great, great lineup. You want to tell me who we have lineup this evening? No, Leo, I love it when you say it in your voice. Tan, tan, -na -na. All right, clap, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> okay, I can't have no drum. We have a nice, pretty young lady who's going to start off the evening. Sierra, look, 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 June, come online for us. <laughs> I'm online. You're online. She's hi. <laughs> Joan, meet yes, Shernet. Meet Shernet. Hi, Shernet. Hi, Joe. Good to nice see you, you again. You've met her before. Where were you before? We've been, we've been kind of getting to know each other for the last. Oh, time. okay, okay. Well, yes. me know June twenty years ago in Kuma, California, 
and come up here for now and dinner dance, right? And come with an entourage and man. And me? Me take, her, me, take her away me take her away from all of them and them. <laughs> from that me and her friend. I first me see her again from that. Oh my and, gosh, Leah, I'm scared of you. Yeah, Joan might have been drunk, but Joan no fool. So no one is a fool. So we we have some really um uh, a nice lineup. We have Joan uh, Myers, um singer, entertainer, extraordinaire. Why she will tell you about herself later on because we have to interview her and make, oh. you know, make you guys know about her. And then we also have Pastor Norman Hemmings, he's the pastor of Cooper City Church of God. And then we have Pastor um, Michael Hutchinson and his, and his wife, Minister, Minister Hutchinson. And they are here to, 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 to help us to calm the spirits of our Jamaicans in Jamaica and in the diaspora and people across the world because we are in a tough time right now. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, we ask them to join us to come and pray for Jamaica and Jamaicans and the rest of the world. So they're going to join us later on. But I want to ask Miss jo Joan, where you come from? Where I come from? Yes. The beautiful parish of Jamaica. I don't think you come from Jamaica. I don't want to tell nobody that. I tell nobody that. that ah, that's, ah, that's, ah, that's. You're going to make me cough. Stop. Oh my God. <laughs> parish, of, so parish of Jamaica. Of Jamaica. Uh -huh. And in particular, the warm parish of Hanover. Uh, I know where you come from. Yes. Me and your family too. We come from Pondside. Oh, Lord. Damn fool. Yes. My father come from Pondside. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you come from. I am, yes. So were you performing in Montego Bay in the days when I was there? No, I probably was not born yet. <laughs> oh, oh, da -da! oh my god! Oh Jesus oh, peace! Oh my heart! My heart broke! Oh um, heart broke! Yes, my heart broke! Oh my god! Uh, we have a guest on here. We gotta we gotta get her off. Okay, I don't know. Who, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know who Shirley is, uh, but we gotta. Um, I'm not so sure. Okay, all right. Yeah, me add bus up. I'm so <laughs> sorry. So you 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 started singing when? Well, I was born and raised in a pastor's home, so you know how that goes. So you're always in the church. So I started singing since I was born. Oh, oh so you were a pastor's daughter. I am a pastor's child. And 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 when we, um, which church was that? So I was my dad pastored a church in Jamaica, the Holiness Christian Church, uh -huh. which is the church I grew up in. Okay. Um, and then uh, you know I went to a very musical high school, the best school in the West, Herbert Morrison Comprehensive High School. One of the few schools but, that you know it's school. good, you know, that's good because me always I hear Manchester, 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 and it's really <laughs> nice to hear some months ago. Months ago, be that's so nice. Yes, sir. Herbert Morris, a comprehensive high school, and yes. I'm a product of that noble institution. Excellent. So I was a part of my school band. I played the clarinet. Yes. But then I discovered I loved voice, and as a result of that, I started singing. My uh -huh. brother Benji Myers was also part of that band. I, I sang with Benji Myers one night. One really? night. Yes, Tony the Custer, Tony the Custer affair. That's where he was, right? In okay. Montego Bay. Yes, tell sir. Them, tell me, tell me your family. Me, me your family. family. Tell me. family. Yeah. Welcome, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I moved to Kingston after I left um, high school and sang with the Love Singers and then with the Grace Drillers for like 14 years. Wow. Now on my own. Okay, that's great. Yes, um, are you on a Russell swag, Joan? She say a swag. Oh, tell her yeah, thank you. Jeez, um, <laughs> <I'm on. laughs> um, Moisha Maxwell, Sherry Johnson says good evening. Andrea Dixon says good evening. Rosalia Hamilton, good evening to you. Um, Clinton Da Costa, my old time friend. Louise Simpson oh. says Louise is watching from Brooklyn, and and oh. um. And so, so you're going to perform to us for us this evening? <laughs> you better say yes. Yes, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> so, man, I would love to hear you. I, I heard you 
a few years ago and, and I Thank really you loved so you and, and stuff, you know. I'm mean, glad to know you come from Montego Bay. Yeah, but man. I think, I think, I know, but about, Montego Bay is Montego Bay. Is she a got place. Montego Bay, um, uh, Herbert she, Morrison. That's right. Yeah. She went to those schools, but she didn't come from Montego Bay. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, um, so uh, we want you to start out early this evening because we're going to take what, what we want you to take us up to the people that are waiting for you to sing. Yeah. Oh so Lord. Take, take us up to eight o'clock and let me feel good. Well, as you know, it's a very chaotic time right now. Um, everybody's kind of like a hopeless mindset. But um, I am very privileged to announce that we really don't have to live in the fear that we live in. The word of God tells me and tells all of us that perfect love for him cast out all fear. And we're human beings. And yes, we, you know, we kind of feel like we can't really do it all on our own. And yes, we can't because God promises that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And I just want us to be comforted this evening, having that inner peace inside of us that will take us through these difficult days ahead. So I'm going to share some songs and I hope you'll be comforted. And first of all, I just want to give every praise to him because every praise belongs to our God. He is worthy of it. And join with me and sing. Forget what's outside and spend it for the next few hours in Jesus' presence, Leo. Yes. Where there is comfort. All right. Put your hands together. Let's have church online. Yes. <laughs> well, well, Leo, we need to hear John, so we'll just do it quiet. Quiet, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God, to our God. Glory, hallelujah. It's your God. Oh, every praise, every praise is your God. I'm sure you can take it a little higher. If those voices that say every praise, every word of a worship with the one accord. Oh, every praise, every praise is your God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Oh, every praise, every praise is to our God. We can do it up higher. One more time, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with the one accord. Oh, every praise, oh, every praise is to our God. Lift your voices and dancing, hallelujah, to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Oh, every praise, every praise is to our God. How about us just singing, God, he is my savior. He's my savior. God, my healer. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. God, my savior. He's my healer. Yes, he is. He is my, your deliverer. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my Savior, yeah, yeah. He is our healer. Yes, he is. God, my deliverer. Hey. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with the one of God. Hey, every praise. Every praise. Oh, every praise. Every praise. Oh, of my worship. Oh, of my praise. When the spirit gets to yeah. Every praise, love every praise. 
<laughs> now I know why I went searching for her. Oh my gosh, that's really nice. Leah, did he search for me today? I, I, I did I what? Yeah, so search for me today? <laughs> yeah, man, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened now. Here, so I got up this morning and I got wind that there was something brewing, right? Mm. So I'm gonna call up my friend, Donna Martin. I'm gonna say, Donna, I need somebody to come on the show this evening to come join the pastors and, and help us to, 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 to raise the roof, you know? And Donna says, I know just the person, let me call her. And within minutes, I'm on the phone with my longtime friend, <laughs> Joan Myers. God is good. <laughs> and listen, like, listen so to what we got. Simple, the Lord's Prayer. And every one of us listening this evening knows the Lord's Prayer. But I'm going to do it in the form of a song. And just think about the Lord's Prayer. He asked us when we pray, we should pray like this. Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my! I, it, okay. it, okay. We're having a little a little bit of problem, right? You're 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 moving the mic a bit too far away from your, and I know that what you're trying to do, but so it, 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 sound is going in and coming out. And I didn't want to break you. Okay, I'm sorry. It's so lovely though. But it's so like it's so nice. Oh my gosh, that's Thanks. really. You, let, let me ask you this: Did you were are you a pastor also? Or you preach the word? I do. Okay. But I, um, yes, I do. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I mean, I do. You give um, off that air. And I'm struggling with that. Explain. Whole, yeah. Thing. I really Explain. Am. Explain. Um, I have always believed God has gifted me with song. Um, yeah. And as a result, I'm really passionate about that call on my life. But um, I transitioned here from New York. And um, when I came here, I, I got into a groove where I, I had more time by myself. Um, and I really wanted to ask God if there was more that he had for my life other than a call to sing. And um, he confirmed that he has. Um, I've been to seminary. Um, and ever so often, you know, in life, when God calls us, sometimes he allows other people to confirm the call on yes. our lives. Yes. And um, I have seen that manifested itself over and over again. And um, I'm still in that place of totally walking into that, and I'll be honest with you. Um, I struggle with it um, for one strange reason. I can't say what it is. I really cannot put my hand on there. But I do speaking engagements ever so often, and a lot of times... You know, after concerts, people will walk up to me and they'll say, you know, God has called you to preach. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And that's why I ask. That's exactly why I ask, because of all you express. You know, so that's, that's really Thank nice. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm still praying. I'm still a work in progress. Would you, could we you all sing? Are, we all are. Don't worry about it. You're doing a great job. And yeah. I think that you will know when the time has come, because it's going to yeah. come. You, you'll know that time, right? Thanks. You know that time. Can you sing without the mic the next time? I can. Okay. Yes. Like if you do it without the mic, it comes off better, much, much better. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, so let, let me let me let me bring some some statistics to you. Uh, in the midst of all of what we're going through, um, the world is seeing something, or we are seeing something that we haven't seen in my lifetime. Really, mm -hmm. uh, we have nine hundred and thirty-four thousand persons who have contracted, we're close to a million people who have contracted the COVID-19 coronavirus. In America, I'd like to show, share with you what America has. Today alone, 26,000 persons are infected with the corona. Well, well they tested 26,000 positive. Uh, to, um, up to today, there are 5,099 deaths in America. Um, from coronavirus, 214,600 persons are infected totally to, uh, across America. So I'll, I'll repeat that. The total infection, infected persons across the United States is 214,000. We had 26,000 brand new cases today. And up to this point, 5,099 deaths today alone, alone there was 1,046 deaths. So the numbers are increasing. And so mm -hmm. if we go down to Jamaica, that's the country that, um, of our birth, Jamaica has uh, recorded, where are you, Jamaica? Oh my gosh. 39? No, it moved from, now it's at 44. 44. Correct, 44, yeah. 44, six are recorded today. Six recorded today, three deaths. I didn't know that we had another death. Whoa. So, so we're going through some really horrible times. And 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 you know your your purpose this evening. And I felt that I I already feel you, you know, on the show that 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 you you're, you're called for this show this evening, and we so appreciate it. And and we want you to stay with us. Once Pastor Norman comes on, he'll come on and then do his thing. We'll talk to, talk to him and then. Uh, he leave, and then another pastor will come. Between pastors, we want to to to, to you know to give us some love again, and yeah. then 
and then after the, we'll ask you to close the show. I'm sure everybody's waiting to, to, to hear you blow. <laughs> so you have something else for us? Sure. Um, the word tells us that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, he will hear us. He will hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins and he will heal our lands. You know, as you look over social media, it's a lot of, you know, scriptures being quoted. But um, the next one I share speaks about asking God to heal our land, um, not just the land of Jamaica, but to heal the world um, so that he, this nation will return to God and, and allow God to heal us if we want him to do that, because a lot of times he wants to do some things in and through us, but until we want to do that and be open to him doing what he needs to do in our lives. So I, sh I am gonna share this next song, Heal Our Land. Okay. Can you turn the button? Trouble everywhere. We need you, Jesus. From the east, west, north, and south, oh God. We need, we need you, Jesus. If my people will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray, if they seek my face and humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins. I will hear from heaven and heal our land, Lord, heal our land. Hear us, O oh God, and heal our land. Lord, hear our cry and turn our nation back to you, Lord. Heal our land. Hear us, O oh God. And heal all land, Lord. Please forgive our sins and heal our broken land. Lord, we bow on our knees, we humble ourselves. Lord, we humble ourselves and we pray. Lord, we seek your faith. We humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways. Father, in your mercy, please forgive. Forgive all of my sins. Oh, Father, in your mercy, I ask you to heal our land, heal our land, oh God. Lord, please heal our land. Hear us, oh God. Please, Lord, heal our land. Lord, just hear our cry and turn our nations, turn our nations back 
to you, back to you, oh God, please heal our land, hear us, oh God, and heal our land, please, oh God, forgive our sins, oh Lord, and heal our broken land. We are saying to you, heal it, oh God, oh Lord. We ask you, oh God, to heal Jamaica. Heal our land, oh God. We are asking you to heal America, Lord God. Heal our Caribbean islands, Lord. We are asking you, oh God, to heal, 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 oh God. Heal Europe, oh God. Heal our world, oh God. We confess our sins to you. We turn to you, God. Heal it, heal it, Lord. Please, Lord, heal it, heal it. Lord, we are asking you, God, to hear our cry and heal our land, oh God. We have sinned against you, Lord. And we are saying to you, O oh God, forgive our sin and heal our land. Heal it, heal it, Lord, our land. Heal it, heal it, Lord, our land. Oh God, oh, heal our land, Lord. Heal it. Jeez. Heal it. Heal That's what we're asking him for. Amen. Heal that is oh, oh, thank you so much for that, Joan. I think we're um we have Pastor Hemming on. <laughs> you. Yes. And he, he's trying to turn himself sideways. Yeah. You know, I, I know how he is, and I in in him is a him is a um a comedian also. Yeah. Well, you know what? His time is most appropriate. After the <laughs> public song, Joan, thank you so much. It's perfect. It's as if it was set up exactly that way. Heal our perfect land. timing, perfect timing, right? Heal our land. Absolutely. And here he comes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for a prior, don't you think? Yeah. Amen. Yes, I, I want to find out about him first because he, he owes me a couple of... um. You know, I, I, sit, I sat in audiences where he pick on me, you know, so he owe me a couple of explanations. And Leo, Leo, may I just say this is not about you right now. Welcome and thank you so much, Pastor Hemming, for joining us. Thank you so much. You did, did you catch the end of that beautiful song, sir? I'm sorry. It's, it's great to be here and great to see all of you. This is wonderful. You just awesome. you just saved. You just got saved by the bell. It's all right. He got saved by <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry about it. He's a man of God. Oh my gosh, um, uh, Pastor Norman Henning, good evening to you. Hi, Mr. Gilly. There's a, there's a lady, a young lady next to you. Her name is um, Miss uh, Myers, Joan Myers. And okay. She's been sharing her heart with us through music until, and, and, and keep keeping us busy until you arrive this evening. Right, right. right? And so what, I, what I'd like to, to, to get to first before we have a prayer from you, um, is to, for you to tell us a little bit more about you. All so right. I so, hope you don't tell me that you come from Manchester. Wow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. That's well, that more I know. My wife is from Manchester, though. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. What a smart man. <laughs> I, every, every great person from Jamaica has a link to Manchester. Wouldn't, wouldn't I, you agree? No. <laughs> I have nothing, nothing to do with Manchester. Well, I have a friend. There she is. <laughs> okay, right. I, I can't deny it. Right. She's a good so, friend. But but I don't um have a personal link besides my wife, Manchester. I was okay. born in, in Kingston, Jamaica, in a place called Pembroke Hall, that all, all of you who are here this evening would never would never venture into, right? But it's a wonderful community. I love being there, 86 Annandale Avenue. Went to Pembroke Hall Primary, went to JC for undergrad for, for um for high school went to undergrad at Cornell University and John Jay Carter Criminal Justice in New York City. And then I did my law degree at Howard University School of Law. 
had a seminary degree at Shiloh Theological Seminary in Stafford, Virginia. And I've worked as a prosecutor at the state level, at the federal level, supervised over 235 attorneys and an equal number of support staff for the US Department of Justice. And presently for the last three years, I've been serving as a, as a judge, a federal judge, but I'm here tonight appearing in my other capacity, my capacity as a minister of the gospel. All right. Well, you know, I, I, I would be happy to sit in front of you in court because I'd want you to, um, to display not the judge part, but the pastor part, okay? Wow. Because I, I, know, I know I'll get away. You tried to save your skin, Leo. <laughs> but you just be punished. Oh. <laughs> uh, nice to have you. It's really nice. Um, uh, the, my co-host, her name is Shernet Bailey. She's a troublemaker. Hi, Shernet. Um, really yes. a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. And, um, and welcome. And welcome. So, so you went to um, JC, right. the, blue, the blue and the white. Right. Is that right? True, true blue. True blue. True blue. But, you know, there's another school that wears blue, which is uh, St. George's. Oh, right. so, it's, so it's pure blue, no white. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just check in, just check in. <laughs> all great schools, all schools. <laughs> right. All right, and, and then, um, uh, so, so you left Jamaica at what age? Left Jamaica at um, age 15 and went to New York, finished up by Europe High School in New York. Oh. At Evander Childs High School in the Bronx. So you're actually an American boy. I mean, you're not really a Jamaican no, boy. You didn't, but, Your Honor, please forgive him. He did not just call you a boy. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have to be the money. <laughs> 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 If, if I must say so, Miss Bailey, you are the most beloved of all the hosts of the show. Oh, <laughs> oh, the second strike. The second strike. Okay. The second strike. Okay. Um, uh, no, man, we, we, we've had, we've seen some, some serious numbers. I, I mean, today right. I saw 22,000 um, mm. new cases in, in, um, in, in infection in the virus. Right. And, right. and we have 1,099 deaths just today alone in, in America. That's mm -hmm. some serious numbers. Definitely. Uh, and then yesterday, um, I don't remember who came out and said, uh, some authority came out and said, um, we, we expect 240,000 deaths in, in is that, yeah, is that it's, uh, Right. It's 100,000 to 240,000 if we're able to suppress the curve. If we're unable to suppress the curve, those totals are going to be in excess of 2 million people that they anticipate passing away in the United States. Wow. Right. right. Mm -hmm. but, but there's hope. There's hope. Don't panic. This is not dead. Well, right? I panicked. You know, I panicked yesterday morning. Let me tell you why I panicked. Let me tell you why I panicked. How I panicked. So when I saw the numbers, right. I was going to get up and go to the market yesterday morning. Right. And, I, and I opened my door and I felt the breeze and I turned back and came back in because I said, it must be in the breeze. You know, and, and I said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going out there. So I started ordering from the supermarket. No, I'm not going out there. Oh, wow. But it's that option, absolutely. That's the safest thing to do. So thank you, Lord, for the breeze that blew it back inside, right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, someone is beating me. Two people, be, three people beating no. me this evening. God. We're taking care of you, right, Joan? Right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So we're asking you, um, with all of those numbers, and we just right. noticed the new numbers in Jamaica: forty-four right. cases, right. three deaths, and and um, and you know, we, we we I'm hoping to see everybody on the other side, really, on the other yeah. side of this this coronavirus. Right. Um, but we're asking you to to come on and and talk to us a little bit, talk to the people, you know, at will. Tell us, talk to them, right. and then you pray for them. So tell us, right. tell us what you're. Yeah. Thinking. So so I think th this is the most important thing um, for us to know is. Um, this whole notion of, uh, you might have seen the hashtags um, alone together, but this is so important. This whole notion of social, this whole idea of social distancing in order to not only to protect ourselves, right? Because apparently the majority of people who are passing on uh, the coronavirus are people who are asymptomatic. So it's very, very important for all of us um, that even though we may feel fine, that when we go out on the road, right, for those emergency situations, like for instance, this evening in Florida, um, at midnight, um, the, gov the governor of the state is going to be announcing, we, are, we, are, we expect um, that we are not going to be 
um, allowed to, to venture out of our homes except for essential items, which is what the, the entire nation really needs to do, to be quite honest. Um, with right. and, and, and to keep that at least six feet from the person who is beside you in the supermarket or in the takeout restaurant or wherever it is that you're going that's essential for you uh, to go to. But, um, but alone together is an important concept and it's a concept that's not new, right? The, and, and this pandemic, this too is going to pass. Although it seems uh, insurmountable right now, the, the, the 1918 um, so-called Spanish, Spanish flu, Spanish flu. Uh, right? The H1N1 virus that lasted from one spring of one year into the spring of another year in our lifetimes, that too yeah. passed away. It, 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 not only that, um, that, there are creative solutions that are, that are being brought to bear right, um, throughout the world, but focusing, if we were to focus solely on Jamaica, there's a young man, Rayvon, out, out of Jamaica, who invented for the H1N1, right, um, because of that, and also because of what he saw, the deaths of so many children from MRSA and other um, bacterial infections on the island of Jamaica. He's a UTEC student. He came up uh, with this ultraviolet light that automatically disinfects surfaces that we usually touch. So listen, things are gonna, you're gonna see some creative things happening, not only in the United States, not only coming out of Jamaica, not only coming out of the Jamaican diaspora around the world, as well as other nations and other countries. But I think we're, all the world is gonna come together, right? Uh, separated because you notice everybody's closing their borders, including Jamaica, including Jamaica right? <laughs> right? But we're, we're, we're gonna be better off um, alone, but together fighting this pandemic. And there's a passage of scripture in the Bible found in Exodus, the 12th chapter, where we had a similar circumstance where people had to um, leave the, the communities that they were accustomed to and the congregating that they were accustomed to doing and to go and to be alone at home with just their family members. And it's found in Exodus 12. And it's really the story of Passover that Jews celebrate um, every single year, right? And it says that this death um, spirit passed throughout the land of Egypt. But people who were at home, it's interesting. One of the first things that Moses says to the people, he says, go, what we do, we go, we, we go to buy toilet paper and bleach and Lysol. But, but Moses told them, go and get some food. Go get some lamb for your home and take it into your home and then lock yourself in your homes. But then put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost of the home. Similarly, this is what we need to be doing all throughout the world. And regardless of the, 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 your religious background, all of us need to be focused on God at this time. And we need to be praying the protection of God on our, ver our various homes, wherever we are in the diaspora, wherever we are um, in the world, just like the children of Israel did while they were um, in, in Egypt. And what's interesting is that God indeed did deliver them, not only them. So it's not about just delivering Jamaicans, right? God mm -hmm. delivered the Egyptians as well. It says when they left, there was such a great multitude, over 2.1 million Isra Israelites and Egyptians who left to go to the promised land. And so sometimes we, we miss out on that. So, so this um, staying at home and social distancing is not something new. It's something that we've seen repeated throughout history in our recent memory, but all right. And um, if you want me to just go into the prayer, we, we can certainly do that. No, now. please, we're enjoying what you're saying, please, please. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. We are enjoying what you're saying. Right, right. But, but um, listen, things are definitely um, going to get better. And I really do um, believe that. In fact, the invention that that young man, Ravon, came up with, I believe it's called Zermasol, Zermasol, right? Yeah. Imagine this is Jamaican, <laughs> right? That student at UTEC invents this thing that can, that's directly on point for what we're facing uh, right now. Um, the other things that we have to be focused on as well is being kind to our neighbors, right? So that if you, fi if you find out that your neighbor doesn't have something, whether you're in Jamaica, you're in the United States somewhere, you're in Great Britain, or you're over in the continent of Africa or elsewhere in Europe or, or, or Central or South America, wherever it is that you are, right? Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're sharing what you have with others. That's one of the things that came out of that Exodus 12 story. Moses actually told them that they should share. They take it off for your family, but share for those who don't have the least fortunate um, among us, right? And we, we should be considering the same things. So that's why you see all throughout the world, but especially here in South Florida that we can speak to um, right here. You see um, basketball players, others who are coming out and other um, not-for-profit organizations that are going there, being, giving out um, food baskets to those who are without work as, as it is now. And interesting, in the Exodus 12 story, the children of Israel 
the trail of Israel, we're, we're all, I'm here, I'm coming to the back, Leo, so I apologize. I'm getting our feedback, yeah? As it is now. And I hope that... The Exodus 12 story. Okay, there you go. Yes. Yeah. It's gone, so, yeah. So, the children of Israel were similarly unemployed. <laughs> like so many of our, our fellow, our, our family members and our friends are here in the United States and around the world today because of the plague or this virus um, that was coming, right? So, they, had, we, they were forced to share. And we too should be forced, not because someone is beating us up to share with them, but because the spirit of God in us um, connects with the spirit of God in our neighbors and we should feel a sense of, of, of wanting to help the, those who are less fortunate um, yes. that, than, than we are. So I think great things are going to happen. I think that God is going to use this, although it sounds weird and strange. I know people are going to be calling you and say, who is that idiot? <laughs> right? But I really no. do believe that all things work together for good for them. No, seriously, for, the, for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And, and I really do believe that God is going to do something magnificent in the midst of what seems like very, very perilous times. All right. But if we just hang in there and hold on and, and we continue to be alone together, hashtag alone together, we're going to come out of this on the other side, thanking God for how great and merciful and kind and generous he's been to us. Amen. Yes. All right, let, let, let us, can I pray now or you want? No, man, no, 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 you can pray now. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's do this. Great, grace and most heavenly father, we thank you, dear father, that you're not a respecter of persons. In fact, in the Exodus 12 story, dear father, we see that the children of Israel who were in disparate homes, each of them were in homes, some of the homes hundreds of miles apart from the other. But father, you, the same God who was in the home of Moses, was also in the same, the same God who was in the home of each of those Israelite children and also those Egyptians who believed their father. Father, we believe, dear father, that this is a time that you're going to show your love. You're going to show your peace. You're going to show their father your caring, your mercy, and your grace on all the peoples all around the world, dear father. That Jamaicans, no matter where they are in the diaspora, dear father, will not only hear your voice, will not only feel your presence, will not only be able to reach out and touch you, but they themselves, dear father, as they're um, alone together, dear father, will be praying for their neighbors, for their friends for those persons who are not even Jamaican, dear father, that they will, dear father, continue to pray, pray, dear Lord, for, um, for one another, and that you, Lord, will hear the sound of our prayers, dear father, that you'll forgive us of our sins, that you'll cause us to live our lives in such a way, dear father, that we, dear father, as Jamaicans, as uh, Christian uh, people, as people of various religious backgrounds, dear father, that others will see us and ask their father, what is so special, their father, about Miss Bailey? What is so special about Joe? What is so special about Leo? What is so special about these people, their father, that they continue to have hope and joy, their father, and a sense of, a sense of seriousness of purpose and commitment to doing the right thing in the midst of tragedy. And their father, they'll come to know the God that we know. For we ask these things in the, in the God, their father, that I serve, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. And amen. Oh my yeah. gosh, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Can I, can, thank you can, I get a, can I get a song? Can I get a song, please? Yeah, you can, sir. Yes, oh. thank you. Wow. <laughs> um, thanks for that word, sir. Norman Hammond. Give God. <laughs> yes. Um, you said something earlier that I really found interesting. Um, I remember reflection, I think it was on Tuesday morning, was about God being present in the midst of the chaos. Wow. And sometimes we don't know how to huh. still thank him in the midst of the chaos. But um, when he came back to his disciples after the resurrection, he told yeah. them that he leaves his peace with them. And that peace, if we have that peace within us, then we can be chilling, you know, and just know that <laughs> oh, I Jesus love you. is taking care of everything. <laughs> so in light of that, I want to just think about the faithfulness of God. And yes. we all know this, yes. that great is thy faithfulness, mm. oh God, my Father. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank 
Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Mm. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Huh. Yes. Thou changest not. Thy compassions fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Huh. Summer and winter, huh. springtime. Yes. And harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in many witness to thy great faithfulness. Hmm. God's mercy and his love. Great is my faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Lord, I have pleaded, your hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Pastor Hemmings. I, oh. Your sin and the peace that endureth shine all dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. God's blessings all of mine with 10,000 beside. Oh, great is my faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, your hands have provided, so great is thy faithfulness, yes, great is Thy faithfulness, oh great, is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Amen. Thank you. Wow. wow. Me. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh i love that song that's that was powerful really thank you thank you so much thank you. yes thank you. yes you know um we have another uh, guest on with with us uh pastor michael Hutchinson. that's pastor norman um hemmings from the cooper city uh church of god and he and pastor michael is from from the power of faith ministries in, in Nirmar. All right. Bless you. And, good night. And, good night. And 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 Pastor, meet meet the singer Joan Myers, and then my co-host also Shernet Shernet Down Bailey. Uh, pa Pastor, you're, Pastor Hutchinson, you're not from 
Manchester, neither is your wife, right? Just want to make sure. No, but I tell you this though, the history, my father is from oh, St. Elizabeth, oh. Manchester. That, that, that's <laughs> what, what I was told. Yes. Jesus. Oh, gosh. My mother's from Kings Mary. Okay, yes. Oh, I was born in Kingston. Oh. Right. So we have a mixture of <laughs> in St. Catherine, Jamaica. You know, right. that's, the, that's the circle. Pastor Hemings just said that everybody has a connection to Manchester. I don't know why that is, but you know, I, I'll, I'll just leave it right there. I'm right. hoping that somebody comes down who had nothing to do with Manchester. Oh Lord, that's it, that's it. Yeah. But once we're Jamaican, you know, there once you we're from Jamaica and we're connected with everywhere, you know, and connected with the 14 <laughs> parishes, you know, so we're all connected in one way or another. Yes. Uh, yes. Welcome, Pastor Michael Hutchinson. Uh, he's become a great friend of mine, both of you, all three of you. And I'm so happy to have you here this evening. Thank um, you. And, Do I need uh, No, man. No, 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 no. Because I want a conversation. No, oh, no, yeah. not at all. Sure. I, I'll oh. tell you a little, a little story that you know touched my heart and it will stay mm -hmm. with me for the rest of my life so about a year ago my mom was on her dying bed right mm -hmm. and um she's for you know very very spiritual person a lover of god all her life and and um I went into the hospital hmm. and she didn't look good. They had her in isolation. Wow. And so I, I, I said to her, um, who would you like to speak with? And she said, call my pastor. Hmm. So I called her pastor in Jamaica over and over and I couldn't get him. And I said, you know, I've been to Power of Faith Church all the time, and I know Pastor Michael. Yes. And I didn't ask her any more questions. I just called Pastor Michael. I said, Pastor, my mom needs a prayer. Mm -hmm. And I put him on speaker. And let me tell you something. I, that may have extended my mom's life because, because she got up when she was listening to him, hmm. you know, give the word and, and praying, and she sat up and waited until it was done, and then, then she went back to lay down. But then she lived for another six to eight months. Um, and we didn't expect that. Yeah. But, um, but thank you so much, Pastor. You've been great for her. I, I'll always remember that. What she, she got up and sat up while he mm -hmm. prayed. You know, so right. thank God for the opportunity. You know, it's about the Lord, and um, and you know, you have come into the life, our lives, and the power of faith ministries at um, at a beautiful time. You know, a time where you know we see your your energy, hmm. and we see what you wanted to do for the community of Miramar, for the city of Miramar, and also for for education. And, and and otherwise you know and we just appreciate what you are doing and um some of the work that you continue to do we really appreciate that where you are concerned and we just continue to pray for you that as you advance the, the various plans and so forth that god will see you through and see them through to success all right so i pray that for you yes yes, yes. thank you so much thank you Great. so much um uh, you know before I go any further. Can you have another song? Because this requires a song. Huh? I, I do. It does. It is. It does. I'm. I'm gonna wear you out tonight. <laughs> okay. It's for Jesus, not for you. <laughs> again, again. Oh, again. Oh, I can't win. <laughs> um, it is well. Yes. Oh, I love that. yes. That's my it is well with my soul it's well it can be well with our souls if we know whose we are hmm. yes. and it is well it is well leo it is well yes it's well. um i thought you got a little emotional talking about your mom but it is well 
Don't worry about it. In a good play. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea belongs, oh, what Thou hast taught me to say it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well, my soul, my sin, O oh, rebels of this glorious thoughts, my sin. Not in part, but the whole is nailed to his cross, and I bear them no more. But praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, my soul, and nor is the day when my faith shall be silent. The clouds will be rolled back just like a scroll. It shall resound, and oh Lord, he shall descend, but even so, and though it is well, oh, it is well. Pastor Hemmings, um, uh, thank you so much for that uh, that rendition. Uh, Pastor Hemmings, tell me about your church. I know that it hosts the biggest Jamaican independence um, uh, church service on, in, in August each year. Uh, I, I think we have about a thousand each year there. Uh, tell us about your church and how we can contact you. Pastor Hemming or Pastor Michael? No. Hemming, Hemming. Pastor Hemming. Oh, right, right. So I'm, I serve on the pastor's call at Cooper City Church of God. Our lead pastor is Kevin Harris. Um, our services are at 8.30 and it's 11 o'clock. I ask you to tune in. We're still, we're not meeting, so don't panic. We're not going to get arrested. We're, we're, we're online only, right? And it's the 8.30 service and an 11 o'clock service every Sunday. Each Wednesday night, we have a Bible study. The Bible study is, is led by a Jamaican, actually, who has no connection at all to Mandible. His name is... <laughs> yes! <laughs> His 
David the Reverend Doctor Clyde. That you know of. <laughs> the Reverend Dr. Clyde Bailey. He is, in fact, a licensed uh, family therapist. And I invite you to reach out to him if you're feeling, you know, any way out of sorts during this time period for whatever reason. He has a team of other psychologists and psychiatrists who also work um, in our clinic there um, at the church. The telephone number for the church is 954 680 9191 9546809191 and if you go to ccc of god um which is our website you'll be able to click on the link that says live and you can attend both services as well as the wednesday night um prayer meeting all right so so now now that now that we are good buddies now you're not going to pick on me again in the in the audience you're not going to no no no, no definitely oh, but you know oh. that we're going to pick on those that we love <laughs> Still can't get away. Still can't get away. Right. Yes. Yeah. There's no way out, right? I can't. I, I, anywhere it, return. It. It. Remember, you're going to you because you're a bad pick name. I keep telling <laughs> No, we can't talk about bad on this program. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's yes. good pick me, right? Uh, uh, God pick, God, good God pick me, right? Of yes. Course. yes. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It has been a blessing in, in, in a number of areas, you know. So we have to acknowledge that, you know. Yes. Pastor, one of the things that, and I know that more, a lot of churches um, uh, do this, uh, Pastor Michael Hutchinson, uh, but I was so moved one day I came to your church on a Friday evening and just a lot of people uh, show up to 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 get um the, the, their their food it, right. it, it was that's just uh, that's just an amazing thing for me to see i passed by i never stopped a couple of other fridays but it's the same but a lot of people waiting yes. and some come in early and leave their bags and and some mm -hmm. come in and they all they, they all queue up and and then the church members just mm -hmm. all come together and yes. just they, they 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 put it in in different lines and and people do the, it was really such such a nice thing to see it's really really nice. well you should be our pr <laughs> public relations <laughs> our faith ministry public relations officer yes, yes. yes. Really, really but thanks for that you know it is something that we do we we have a shared ment a maintenance cost with the, with the feeding south florida mm -hmm. so we you know pay for that based on our responsibility and we get the food and we take it and we put it in boxes and stuff and bags for the people. And they just come and collect it. There's no cost, no charge at all. We just hand it to them. We give them meat. We give them uh, produce. We give them um, canned goods and so forth, you know, perishable, non-perishable items, you know. Uh, we, we don't discriminate. And those are positives where the church is concerned. You know, we ask them for nothing. We don't force them for church. We don't, you know, we just with the love from, from God where we are concerned, we extend ourselves to them, mm. you know? Okay. And I'm sorry, you, you, you um, last Friday and Saturday, we had the pantry service. So oh. we gave food out on Friday and also on Saturday too. Okay, yeah. um, keeping social distances, distancing. Yes, yes, intact. yes, mm. right. right. We are improving also on that. So this Friday we will be having the drive-through only Meaning oh. they'll, they'll drive through and we just put the stuff in their in their vehicle, and next they, thing, you know. Because next yeah. thing you know, um, Judge Hemmings is is locking you up. And don't oh no! Just... If 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 so, you, you will find the church. I won't give you the address for the church. That's it. Pastor Michael, I've actually been through your church as well. But I don't even remember, but a number of years ago, I actually ran for office in the city of Murabar, and I had to yes. visit your church, and I was so impacted. By your church members, they're just so loving and kind and generous. I mean, you you are, you clearly there's something special about you. He and is. He <laughs> is. You you can't walk through the front door and someone don't come up and hold your hand. Pretty much hold your hand. You know. Yes, I think it's right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we try. We try. And I think I've been to your church though. We went there for a a funeral service for a member of our church. Right. Mm -hmm. His brother passed. Okay. I'm um, Todd. You know, you know Todd. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I was at that funeral service at your church. Got you, got you, got you. Right, right. I think at the time I would have been about 170 pounds heavier, so you might not recognize me. Oh, that's oh, right. Maybe, maybe that's <laughs> yeah, I forgot right. about but, that. Yes. Right. 
That's it. And then I heard the history about the church. You were in Miramar and then you moved to Cooper City. And that's right. So um, new life now occupies that building that you that you had before. So I had a little bit of information about your church. Gotcha. You know, and I think we should link though, you know, after all of this is over, we could connect and so forth, you know, share yeah. ministry together. Would love that. Would love For the that. glory of the Lord. Yes, that's it. that's it. And see, it comes through Mr. Gillings right here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes, the connection now is right. formed through this program. And I thank God for that and thank God for you. Yes, yes. yes. Finally, something good about Leo. Uh, no, yes, no. yes. I, I'm not, I'm not going to agree. There's a lot of good about it. Trust me. There's a lot of good. Believe you me on that. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. So what we asked Pastor Henning to do when he came on was just to, um, to talk a little bit to the audience, you know, talk to them, tell us what it is. They, um, I, I, I expressed to him the, the, um, the increased number and the increasing number of deaths and 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 contracted uh, uh, members of our communities uh, across the world. Uh, in fact, we are uh, the infected persons now is close to one million across the world. Uh, in America, we are at two hundred and enough enough thousand. And we have about five thousand and ninety nine deaths. So you know. Uh, we want you to speak to it. I, I, I did recognize um, that your understanding of the of the the, the Spanish flu in twenty um, in 19, 1918. 1918, Spanish We flu, lost yes, about correct. fifty to one hundred million people across the world. Right. We, in in nineteen fifty seven, we we lost twenty five to fifty million people at the, the swine flu, mm -hmm. right, and correct. then the Hong Kong flu. We lost about a, a, a million persons across the world. So right. these kinds of Influencers don't joke. You know, we lose a lot of persons. And yesterday the announcement came that there's a potential, and I would let you tell us what those numbers are, um, uh, Pastor Henning, tell, tell us what those numbers are, <laughs> potential deaths in, in America. Right, so it's one million to over two million people who could potentially die. But if we're able to suppress the curve, they're anticipating that only 100,000 to a maximum of 240,000 people would actually die in the United States alone. So that's why social distancing is so important. Absolutely. And look at the, look at the vast, you know, the space between those numbers. That is very amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. But one of the things, you know, which is, um, which is important for us to add, in addition to the social distancing, there are persons that I was told that are deliberate in their act of Spreading the virus in the sense where they put their hands on, on the the carts and the items, you know, and they cough in their hands and then place it and stuff. So, um, you know, you know, you have uh, unscrupulous persons in that manner. So we also have to be very mindful as to how we sanitize ourselves in terms of um, the gloves or the hand sanitizers and stuff. Those are things that need to be added to the social distancing. You know, we cannot neglect and deny the um, unscrupulous persons and so forth. And then there are some persons who they may have the virus, but it doesn't show until a period of time. So they will be around persons and, um, you know, until it is blown out, you know, and they, you know, other person would have already been impacted. So there are added things that I think we probably need to look at in addition to the social, social distancing. Right. And since, and since we're all Jamaicans here, uh, um, you know, one of the, 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 the Minister of Health and the Prime Minister are doing pretty good in yeah. attempting to, you know, bring people, take people off of the streets. And, you know, I, I saw a, 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 a video today with a, um, a town crier going yeah. around telling people to leave the street. If you don't be, you'll get, you will get um, <laughs> if yeah, you don't be, you'll get coronavirus. That was accurate, please, Leo. That was yes. the person going around in, in different, you know, communities. communities. And like, oh, yes. These are what you have to do. And they're warning them. They're like, listen, this is a curfew time. So stay yes. off the streets, sanitize. And he's trying to make life a bit to kind of get people not to be so abrasive because a lot of people are complaining especially persons selling in the markets they don't want to get off the street they feel like they need to hustle their complaint is hey we have to do this no you don't because if it's not just for the people who can afford to have food and stay home 
is for all of us because you will get sick and you will die because the resources are not there. And if you have, you know, any kind of underlying issues, there is no help available for you. So just think with your head and your heart and think about yourself and others. That, that, that's, I was going to say, that's why I think it's so important that the, not only the government here in the United States, the government in Jamaica, if you notice that they allocated today $240 million to buy excess produce from people like informal commercial importers and others who are selling right. on as well as the agricultural industry, because it's important that we use the resources of government, but also of the religious institutions to make yeah. sure that we're meeting the need at this time, because we're created, we are yeah. unique, created as a church for a time like this. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and to Joe's, Joan's song, I mean, yeah, I'd be well with you physically, but it needs to be well with your soul as well, yes. you right. know, and your head. Yes, yes. The, the, that's important yes. in terms of us um, balancing both, because yes. both are important. Yeah. And um, it is also important for us to, to recognize that we, we are to uh, appreciate each other and the role that that, that person plays in, you know, in alleviating this virus. And you know, hopefully with the things that are implementing right now will help us, you know, if should in case further viruses, you know, you know, attack the, um, you know, the race or the, the, the nation, we will know how to connect and be able to fight this together, all right? And I heard some statement that um, it's not, it shouldn't be social distancing. There's another name for it because we, we still socialize, but we're just not, um, it's called social distancing. That's, that's right. what you were saying, yes, 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 yes. Right, right. Oh, All physical right. distancing, but physical still socializing. Distancing, but still socializing. Yeah, so it's, it's not social distancing because we still socialize. Like, example, right now, we are socializing. Virtual, but we are not virtually. in the same space. Same yeah. space. Yes. So it is um, social distance. What's it, what's it called? Physical. Um, what's physical. it called, Minister? Physical Di distancing. Physical dis distancing, physical. but still socializing. But still socializing, you know? yes. So yes. we have to kind of tag that, you know, that's a, uh, you know, a new thing that we can send out there. Yes. Well, I, 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 I want to share, I want to share some statistics with you that I found today. Okay. That all the deaths that occur um, are between uh, persons between the age of 60 and 90. And, and that the... Not all of this, but most of them. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm using majority here. 14% um, of the deaths are persons who have had um, an uh, the cancer 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 as an underlying disease. 8% oh, okay. uh, as um, uh, as uh, diabetes as an underlying disease, and yeah. another 8% uh, as hypertension as an underlying disease. So, so, okay. so those those are areas, and those are the big numbers. Um, okay. uh, only very few young people are are dying um, from this this virus or this infection. Okay. So we have to take that into consideration. Persons who have um, uh, persons who who have these underlying illnesses must take heed and do their best to stay far, <laughs> right? Yeah. Far away. Um, you know, so uh, just, just something to note. You're going to say it, Pastor. That's important. I, I, I did some writing myself, meaning add a few things to strengthen what is out there from the CDC and, you know, other, you know, sources. And listen what I put. In addition to washing your hands properly, sanitize your surroundings, keep your distance, assist the elderly, give to the needy, wow. don't travel unnecessarily, that's wasting of fuel. Yes. Don't purchase what you don't need. That's wasting of money. Don't prepare food that you don't need. Then have to throw it out. That's wasting of food. And remember to pray for those in the in the essential services. Yes. So basically, add those as adding value mm -hmm. to the already uh, information that is out there. And I send these information now to the church so that we we be mindful of each other, but at the same time, we don't become hoarders. We, we, we purchase what we need, yes, yeah. but give other persons a chance to purchase also. Exactly. Because, example, you go to some of the stores or the supermarkets, 
the toilet papers are out. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, napkins are out, you know, stuff like those are out. And um, and those are basic general needs, but persons hoard them, you know, so it is not available for others to purchase. So, you know, it's just a mindset, and we have to kind of um, you know, help persons to understand that we all are in this together and we all need to assist each other in the process. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Go you know, um, you know the, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When you consider um, what you just named as some of the major underlying factors, cancer, diabetes, um, high blood pressure, hypertension, yeah. when you think of Jamaica, well, when you think about the black race, I mean, those are like our top three. Yes, right? yes, yes. Hypertension, yes diabetes because of our diet and other factors so mm -hmm. this is why it's so important in jamaica for the message to go on. and it is going out for people to listen mm -hmm. and young people they don't know sometimes what is inside of them so don't think that you're not susceptible we all are and and one of the challenges i think um that jamaica is faced with right now is because of zika and everything else that went you know and took a toll on our bodies we don't know what's inside of us we don't know what happened we're seeing a higher rate of diabetes right, and strokes from hypertension because you know they're trying to figure out does that have anything to do with what happened most recently so we have to think critically smartly and just do everything and just like you know pastor was just saying think about others and plan accordingly yes right. yeah I, I i am i you know what what i'm scared about pastor you just pastor michael you just mentioned about the the toilet tissues and and stuff and the with with the, with the potential numbers in America of, of two million, if 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 we don't flatten that, right? right. right. You're gonna. I hate to say this, but what comes with it is looting, and you know because people are no longer in their businesses. And and and, and I saw California the other day; people were lining up to buy guns. Mm -hmm. And any thoughts? Any thoughts on that? I mean, I know. Well, I, I tell you this, what, what's happening now, and it's important for regular briefings. Why? Because persons think, an example, I, I, I heard someone told me about the, the news that this lady, she went to the bank and she withdrew $10,000 because she said the bank system may close down, meaning, mm -hmm. and, you know, she wouldn't have any access to funds. But... By the time she reached home, gunmen held her up and took oh, away the temple. Oh my gosh. So now she's devastated because the, the money that she drew to keep, to assist, should in case of, you know, what she perceived as another type of danger to the danger, the current danger, you know, is gone. So she, she's out of it now. So is that we have to help persons to say, listen, uh, it, it's not about that type of threat. It, it's another type of threat that re requires a particular type response and not the response of getting guns and knives and, and guarding yourself and stuff. It needs another type of response. What are the responses that are needed? The social distancing, the sanitized, being sanitized, you know, be, being sanitized, the... Um, Staying at home if there's no need for going out. So stuff like those. If you find yourself, have, um, you know, you think you you connect with someone who may have had the virus, go get tested. You know, stuff like those. And those now need to be promoted and continue so that persons recognize that the type danger and the type response. Yeah. Right. Pastor Heming, do you have any thoughts on the issue? Yes, uh, so, so, so a number of things. Actually, uh, violent crime has actually been going down in the United States over the past uh, number of years. All the stats show that, right? Well, what we have to be concerned about are, are people who are opportunists during this time period who are going to try to make, to take advantage of the situation. That's why it's so important why you see governors and municipal leaders putting in place overnight curfew. It's not just to protect you from... Uh, from COVID-19 or Corona, but it's also to protect the communities from those band of, of ne'er-do-wells, right? And there's very few of us now who are like that, very few of us, yeah. right? But, but they create such havoc and panic in the, in the communities that it's important for that to happen, especially when 
we have a reduced number of law enforcement members because as, as you've seen, like in New York and New York. California, a heightened number of law enforcement personnel who are coming down with the virus or who yeah. are calling sick and unable to come out. So we have to marshal all the federal resources, the state resources, and the local um, law enforcement resources to make sure that we have a concerted effort and speak with one voice to every member of the community saying, right. listen, we're not going to tolerate this nonsense. It's not going to go on. I was driving um, along University by, by Pines Boulevard two nights ago, when there was a group of guys drive, uh, riding dirt bikes, right? I came, the light had turned green, the block that intersection at University and Pines Boulevard. Some car drivers were honking the horn, rolling on the window saying, drive over them, drive over them. But oh I think, my God. So, but I think calm ahead. This, that's when people in, not, not necessarily law enforcement that you need at that time. Yes, yes. You need people like Pastor Michael, people like yeah. you, um, Leo yeah. and Charnette and Joan, people of God, right? Who are going to say, no, no, no. You know, this is not how we react to people who want right. to be seen and who want to make a display. We're going to treat them with love, the same love. Because, but, but for the grace of God, that could be us, right? Because Man. God has forgiven us of so many, many things that we have done in our lives to others. That thank God that we can then turn around now and show this same grace, this same mercy uh, right. to others. And guess what? Just being there, not moving at all. You know, talking to the the guy who was up there, the the seemed to be the titular head, they, they broke it up and they, they drove off and they, they went away, right? And so calamity avoided. Right. So calm right. heads need to prevail in these circumstances. All right. Um, Joan, I'm going to ask you for some thoughts and then I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Hem Hemmings and then I'll ask Pastor Michael to close out for us. No, I agree with um, I agree what Pastor Hemming was saying about not reacting in a harsh manner because people when people are hurting yes. people are rational yes um so we really don't know what the person next to us in the traffic is going through wow. um probably hopeless the fact you your your family or your friend can die and you're not able to be with them in those moments it's a yes. lot of emotional pain that's mm -hmm. been encountered um so wherever we can find peace Whatever we can do to diffuse it, I think it's the it's the right thing to do. And we're gonna see more of this as this thing, you know, gets worse, more anger, and that people deal with all kinds of you know crises in different ways. Right. So the peace of God, yes. Jesus says that's what He will leave with us. Yes. Amen. And He has like, left that with us. Like that thought about understanding the other person's pain because yes. they're driving down the street having pain and mm. probably not not focusing the way they should be yeah. focusing on the road and it could cause a little skirmish and you um you know getting angry and and it starts something totally different so right. we, we should be able to understand i heard you say that to pastor michael understanding the other person's pain and the other person mm -hmm. so that we can get through this yes thank you yeah. um uh pastor hemmings yeah so yeah we we, we have to show uh, that type of mercy it's it's um interesting um, what we're seeing happening in around the world uh, today, how, how different governments are, are reacting. But listen, th there's, there's good news coming out, right? There's good news coming out of China. There's good news coming out of South Korea in terms of their ability to seemingly um, abate the further uh, spread of this um, virus. Uh, mm -hmm. There's good news even coming out um, of Italy, right? Where we're, we're, we're seeing a lowering. In fact, the Italian government is thinking about what they could lose them right now. In terms of this whole social distancing or physical distancing, as Pastor mm. I love, I love the physical distancing. Right. It makes <laughs> more <laughs> sense, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, as, as, as Pastor Michael has said, he's, he's very wise, very wise to, to put it um, this way. But listen, things are going to improve. Things are going to get better. Yeah. We're, we're in for a, uh, a very harsh, stubborn time right now. But this too is going to pass, right? And and in, in fact, it's interesting that very word, Corona. The word corona is the same uh, Latin word that we use um, and is used in the Bible for uh, that crown that, yes. that uh, athletes get at the end of a race in the Olympic Games. I know that the Olympic Games was just postponed until 2021, right, but it's right. the same word that is used for the crown that Christians get at the end of their life's mm -hmm. journey. But in fact, all Christians are waiting for corona, not corona, the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, but they're waiting for corona, the crown right that at the end of our life's journey whether it's today through 
death from whatever the comorbidity factors that Leo was naming. Because what those are, those are core comorbidity factors that impact the way in which the virus um, hits the human body, right? And that's all that that is. But wh whether we're going to go today or we're going to go at decades um, away from now, we're all waiting for Corona. We're all waiting to hear the voice of God say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter now into the place that I have created for you. All right? So, so let, let us not lose hope. Let us not give up. Let us not wring our hands. God is not caught off sur by surprise by the COVID-19. He's not in heaven wringing his hands, wondering, oh my gosh, how could this possibly happen? No, no, no. God is all-knowing. He's omnipotent. And, and, and he, he understands what is happening. And he has a plan for us, right? And all of these things really are going to work for the good of them that are called according to his purpose. All right? Thank Love you, so you guys. Thanks for having us tonight. Before before I go to Pastor Michael, let me just acknowledge some persons here online. Um, Juanita Sims uh, says, crown for the world. Great, great. Uh, Winceville Harriet says, God bless you, Pastor Hutchinson. May the Lord continue to bless you and your family and keep you, you guys covered. God bless the other pastor. His name is mm. pa Pastor Norman Hemmings and, um, and his family also. Sharon Green says, amen. Uh, Juanita Sims says, COVID is here to reset the world, my people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Minister Patricia Hutchins is, is online also. Um, uh, let's see, Davion Brown, thank you so much for your thoughts. Uh, Diane Bryce, thank mm -hmm. you. Ail Wilson, uh, Bridget Smith Newman, good evening, thank you so much. Um, Veronica Francis, um, Barbara Barrett, good afternoon, good evening to you. Uh, Maxine Chang Ray, she's up there in Orlando. Thank you, Maxine. Oh. Barbara is in Jamaica. Uh, Marcia Brown, Eric Bennett, Linda McFarlane, uh, Sonia Craig, um, uh, Yvette, Yvette Walker also is watching. And um, I want to take it now, uh, Pastor Michael Hutchins, to take it home for us. I, uh, I just want to acknowledge and thank. Um, all of you, you know, for the insight and um, just this connection, you know, that you have brought forth, um, Mr. Gilling. I thank you much for that. And we see here that the interest of all persons on the forum here, you know, and I want to um, appreciate and thank you very much for that. I just want to add, though, that, that recently I was watching an interview with Dr. Pucci and uh, another gentleman, I don't remember his name now, but Dr. Pucci mentioned something important and, and I, I added that to my prayers. He spoke about herd immunity, hmm. herd immunity. Yes. And he described what it means to us that, um, you know, that or, or when, when our, our bodies um, reject the virus, and so what we recognize is that we have been praying and we've been praying that the virus will go and leave, but we also need to pray for herd immunity, our community immunity, family immunity, nation immunity, that our immune system will develop the resistance because there are so many viruses in our environment, but because of our immune system, we don't see the impact. And, and so we wanna pray that God strengthen our immune system for this virus also. And um, I want to leave a scripture taken from Isaiah chapter 26 and the verse 3. And the scripture says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusteth in thee. Yes. But any time we need our mind... <laughs> To be in perfect peace no. is right now. Yes. And the solution to that is in Christ. Yes, yes. Our hope yes. is in Christ. Our destiny is in Christ. Mm. Our life is hid in Christ. And so I know that this is the, the right time for the church not to be divided but to be united in our efforts to bring forth the solution to the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. 
it's high time for us to recognize that. You know, I just want to leave that to, you know, to the world that the solution is here and has already been. It was here before the virus came and it's still here. The solution is in Christ. All right. Yes. Amen. With that being said. Um, we, have, we haven't gotten the prayer from you yet, Pastor. Oh, the prayer. Okay, <laughs> great. So please allow me to, to offer prayer. I want to use this opportunity, though, to thank, um, to acknowledge my wife, Minister Hutchinson, somewhere in the back, and um, our children who really go through this with us. In fact, we have a program, a live program on Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoon. It's called Midday Connection with the Hutchinsons. Huh. So it is my family to the world. You know, that's the sub theme for it. Uh, you know, my family to yours. All right. So one hour program where we discuss the scriptures and we, you know, pray for various persons, you know. So that's one of the things we do. We continue to do our Friday night prayer meetings from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And Sunday morning from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we continue with that impacting through much prayers and, and so forth. But we, we use the scripture as the essence and um, the source of our, our deliverance or healing or health, the scripture. Because when we read the scripture, it is God speaking to us. All right. When we open this book to read it, it's mm. God giving us the word. The word of peace, the word of comfort, the word of assurance. And we hold on to that word with, you know, with everything within us. And we worship him in the process. All right, allow me to pray at this time. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for this, this awesome opportunity to share, Lord, with your people. Thank you, Lord God, for your servant, Leo Gilling, whom you have used, Lord God, to bring all of us together. Father, thank you for this program. And I pray a special blessing on him. That as you advance him and sustain him, Lord, that God, you will continue to use these mediums to bring forth, Lord, or bring people together to discuss matters concerning the world and concerning your word. I pray you bless, Lord God, Pastor Heming. I pray you bless him and his family. I pray you bless the other panelists, God. I pray you bless them, bless them in, bless them out, bless their families, Lord. But Lord, I pray that you will strengthen us, strengthen our immune system, God. Lord, I pray even now, Lord, that as we abide by the rules and the order from the CDC and the other institutions, that God, we will remember to call on your name. We will remember, Lord God, to love one another. We will remember, Lord God, to extend ourselves to each other in help, so that God Almighty, we will see the sense of appreciation for one another. Father, I pray even now that you will touch the world. Father, touch the United States, the government, touch the government of the Caribbean, touch the government of the world, and touch the people of this world. Father, God, they need you. They need help. And I pray, Lord, that you will send help. I pray, God, that you will do for them what no other power can do. Now I pray, Lord, for a revival, a revival in this nation, a revival in the world. I pray that you will start the revival among leaders, Lord, when they meet at the various groups, Lord, the G7, or God, the various unions. I pray that your presence will overshadow leaders as they stand together to discuss matters, how they can get over. Father, I pray a blessing right now on the world, and I pray that your peace that passes all understanding, will rest upon the nation, the families, the homes, the neighborhoods, the communities, in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and the enemies be scattered. Let the church join together in unity as we stand, Lord, together to fight, Lord God, the good fight of faith. Father, we tell you thanks right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Thank you very much. God bless you. Bless you. Um, we are going to uh, remain in, in place where we are because I want one last song from our songbird. <laughs> <laughs> our songbird. Well, I'm going to close up with the great Bob Marley. How about that? Oh! <laughs> Shernet, you approve, right, Shernet? 
Right. Oh, absolutely. I trust her judgment. Go ahead, oh. Joan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one love, one All heart. Right. Yes. yes. Let's get together. Huh. We have no shoes. Why you turn it on? Sorry. Well, Joan is trying to get it out. I mean, I want to say thank you so much to both pastors. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal that we're we're praying nation, right? Jamaicans are praying people. We're very passionate, but deep at the soul of, I will guarantee it, every Jamaican, there is God. Yes. There is, yeah, growing up, and I'm not as young as I look, but... <laughs> I am, I am, I am. <laughs> But I've spent a few decades on this planet, right? And, and owned and loved being a Jamaican and being around people who you know are so giving, so kind, and it's because God is in their hearts. Right. Yeah. You know, even, yeah, even at the very worst of times, we pull together. So I, I feel like it's gonna be it. Oh, One love, Joan. Of course. One love. Mm. <laughs> You know, as she as she said that, you know, as she's preparing this song, it's so funny, you know, when we talk about one love, and it's a fitting song to close the program because we are all from various uh, families, right? Yeah. We're from various families, various homes, right? But look, we are together, we are connected together in one love. One love. Yes, that's it. One heart. Oh. Yes. Oh. Feel 
I want to take this beautiful opportunity. I hope that I will, I hope that in the future, in the near future, sometime I can have both of you back on the show, all three of you back on the show to, to, to do the same and, and, and empower that's people. That's the end of COVID. That's what we want when they come back oh. on. Oh, to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Because it's uh, gonna go away, yeah man. With this kind of energy, it's going to go away. That's it will. Mean. But Joan, if I could say one thing, Joan, you have such a fantastic voice. And, and Bob Ali had the I threes, but you apparently had the I one. But he was bringing the stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. I almost married to that girl because of her voice. Thank you so much, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, thank you so much. Um, Joan, Pastor Michael, Pastor Heming. Having and, me. Um, you know, I, I, I can't tell you how much this make, makes me feel this evening. It really gives me a lot of pleasure. I feel honored. I, I mean, it I feels really, really good to be here. Thank you so much. I feel whole. I feel like, you know, it, it's such a wonderful thing to connect as Jamaicans and to impact the world because of the love we have inside for each other. Mm. Oh, Minister, Minister Patricia Hutchinson, thank you so much for allowing um, Pastor Hutchinson to come on board for us this evening. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Okay, so thanks very much, guys, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so God bless you. God bless Be you safe. all. Thank you. God bless you. Bye, Bye now. Bye.